We have now in front of us a mechanical <coughs> system that we would like to generate a bond graph um, over the system here and uh, let's just apply the same procedure as I have mentioned in the past. The first thing we're going to do is to um, use the one junctions to uh, uh, for the each angular velocity in this case. Then I'm going to put the one junction here for omega 1. And this, of course, it will be the same as, as the one in here. But obviously, in here, that is not the case because um, we'll have to put the one junction for omega 2. And because we have this is compliance element, this would be omega 3. Okay, and in here we can say that this is our one junction which is um, omega equals to zero for reference point. Okay, so what I would like to do is in here we have a, um, we apply the principle that we put the the elements that see those um, velocities so this would be with j1 this torque t is a source of effort which we we can add in here uh, source of effort with value the t torque uh, then over here we have this uh, i element with value j2 this one that is a reference point, I'm going to call it the source of flow with omega equals to zero, with flow equals zero. And then we have in here the elements in between this. It's very obvious that between this and this, we have a transformation. So I am going to draw it like this and say TF and then go like this we transform omega 1 into omega 2 and at this point we need to worry about the relative velocities and in this particular case I am going to say, say that okay this is a zero junction over here so we will have in between we have a relative velocity that says is omega 2 minus omega 3 and attached to this uh, velocity we have this uh, C element with value 1 over K rotation yeah? and then we also have this other one same way we will say this is a zero and then in between this this is omega 3 minus omega which is zero right this thing is zero and then this is going to be the r element with value r like this value no b sub uh, b sub torsion i think i called it Okay, this model you can put it into the CAMG software. And the CAMG software is going to assign the causal marks and it's going to assign the bone numbers. Uh, all you gotta do is to assign the direction in which they go. However, I think uh, for practice, uh, although CAMG will do these assignments for you, let's just practice this and see how it works. First we assign it to the sources, then we assign it to the eyes in integral form. That sets the flow onto this one, the other one has to be like this. And the moment it did this, this other one has to be like this too. And sets the flow, that makes this one like this. This C 
you put it in in okay hold on for a second we are not done with the eyes yet so let's do the other one the other eye like this mix this two like that yeah and you see in here you have this these two flows like this, the zero would need one effort like this. And that makes it also like this. Yeah. And uh, in here, you have that the source of flow is like this, right? That makes this like that. And the moment we do that, this one becomes like this and like this and everything completes correctly now we can talk about simplifying the bond graph model but it's a step that is really from in my opinion for computational purposes not significant enough we could leave it like that and if you understand the model like this the best but if you like you now we can do a little simplification on the areas where you know that the and here this is really one like that and this one is one like this see and this also is one like that so we could come back and redraw the graph if not like I said leave it there don't don't worry about it but with the simplifications again with this I mean with this comments that I'm making that this step is not really necessary I still will I'm gonna draw it so that you can see it in a little more clean way perhaps you may say and then you have this one over here like this and then you have um, sorry this could be confusing here let's just draw it correctly is this over here so like that and then we have the I element over mm -hmm. here like this and then we would have the we simplifying both of them you will have the uh, let's just do it right the R element like that and the SF has been suppressed because it's zero right now this would be the the simplified bone graph model uh, we could simplify this one <coughs> let me see here we have a on the zero we had what do we have in there we had a C element in here um, yeah so if you want to complete this you will go like this and then mix this to be like this that is like that and then this other one also is like this and then this C like this in the end and everything is simplified and complete but if you like you can do this mm -hmm. so these are the um, this is a mechanical system a rotational mechanical system uh, perhaps I think it would be a good idea to do another more complex mechanical system that has a more significant effects and let's do that next <laughs>